the first championship qualifier will come from here. All right, and only one. The rules have changed in championship qualification, and what it is now, uh, the, the robot skills and programming skills don't automatically qualify you for the championship anymore. The winner at each event gets put on a list, and the top 30 teams across the country go to the championship. Now with smaller events like this, uh, the, whole, the overall qualifications have changed as well, and uh, we'll qualify one for world championship and three for national championship. And that change is going across, uh, across the whole country. All right, the new game. It's a fun game, looks like. However, there's some changes from the past. During autonomous, you can touch a robot, right? While it's on the square of your home color. That's the only time you can touch it. During operator control, you can also touch it, but you can't move it. All right, during autonomous, be careful not to cross the opposing alliance's home tile. If you're red and you cross a blue tile during autonomous, that could cost you. All right, now, while we're talking about rules, one thing I'd like to point out is that the refs saw the rules the same time as you and me. There, um, there's some you know areas that could be gray. Also, refs do tend to make mistakes every now and then. They won't admit it, but they do. So, if a mistake is made, we're sorry. You can come yell at me all you want. I'll apologize, and then we'll just continue. All right? All right, please don't yell at a ref or a judge or anything. Come talk to me if you have a disagreement. Uh, of course, this is a ref, and I'm not going to go uh, hunt him down. All right. We'll definitely talk about stuff if you have disagreements. Uh, it, the only thing we're going to change after the fact is if there's a, a, an outrageous score violation. Let's say we switched up the scores for two teams. You know, if that happens, we'll go back in and change that. But we won't go back and change any rulings from on the field. All right? All right, well, we have two of our, three of our refs, Fred D. Dells, one, Keith from Carroll County, and Andrew from here. Now, um, since the refs, all three refs, are associated with teams, there's three of them, and if there's a disagreement, the refs will talk it out, and they'll decide two out of three will win. All right, so uh, I'm going to turn it over to the ref to talk about the game. Uh, some of the things I'd like to cover are, I guess, the definition of what constitutes a score, uh, the various rules about the gates, and what happens if you pass through the other team's tile during autonomous. So during autonomous, if you pass through the other team's tile, you will lose both your negation and your doubling to you. Uh, if you happen to, I guess, collide with the other team's robot, there's no additional penalty for that. For scoring, if it's entirely within the confines of the, I don't know what you call these towers, but the end below the top, it cannot be discord. You can't in any way change how that is scored, regardless of whether you move it or it's removed from the course of play. If it's on top, it's fair game to remove it, as long as it protrudes from the top lane. When it comes to the gates, make sure you lift it before 30 seconds, or your alliance will be disqualified. Also, make sure you use the Velcro on each of the gates so that it doesn't fall, which again, will result in disqualification. Um, I think this, this time around, we're going to try this, is that with the, with the gates, one of the biggest problems we're going to have, because this is all relatively new to everybody, but we, we're going to follow the rule that the minute you put your hand on the gate, you've got to pull it off. You can't, like, put your hand on it and change your mind. All right? So the minute you put your hand on that gate, you've got to pull it off. Um, now, make sure you hold on to the gate, and we will watch, because we know how some people will have slippery hands if an opponent is going underneath of it. So we will watch that. That will disqualify you. One of the things also keep in mind, those of you in a timeless mode, I know some of you will have a timeless mode. Remember, if your robot breaks the plane, of the opposition team, you will lose both your um, doubler and your negator. So you have to keep that in mind. So there's some things you have to remember in doing your autonomous mode. Um, 
Remember, the goals can be scored. They have to be inside of it. You cannot do D scoring this year like you have in the past, with the exception that if the goal or if the uh, the uh, barrel or the ball is hanging up over top of this, then you can D score that. But if it's down underneath here, you cannot do any D scoring. Um, I think those are the major things that I can recall at the time. Um, also, remember, you cannot put your robot up against the gate and keep it there. You got a five seconds. Within the last 35 seconds of the match, you cannot have your robot touching the gate because at the last, at the 30 second mark of the match, you must lift up the gate no matter what. If you do not lift up your gate at that last 30 second, we can disqualify you. So keep those things in mind. This year, disqualification, there's more rules to disqualification. It's just not pinning. Those of you who are new, remember, pinning, you cannot push an opponent's robot up against any object and keep it there for more than five seconds. You will hear the refs count out the five seconds. If you do not move from there, then you can be disqualified. If you're disqualified, remember, it's just not your robot, but it's your alliance robot that's disqualified. Mr. Fred, you have anything else? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. As, um, and as Brian mentioned, that there might be some little discussions here and there. You will see us pick up the rule books every once in a while because it's new to all of us. If you have a question, please feel free to come up and ask us about that. We don't mind. That's how we're going to learn as well. So good luck, everybody. Let's play on. somebody, make sure you return it to them. All right. Have good luck, everybody.